organic practices comes with its own challenges. Non-organic or conventional farming with the help of chemical produces high yield and crops are protected from the effects of harmful pests and insects. So why does the farm avoid the use of modern chemicals and pursue organic methods? Why it is so important to consider changing from monocropping and using inorganic management in Sri Lanka today is our history. All these hills were once covered with forest and these forests had a deep organic soil which was at least three foot deep. These soils are, and let me show you, they were deep, organic, easily friable soils which came apart, which had nutrient, which had animals living in it, which sustained the tea or which sustained any plant in it for years. By putting artificial fertilizer, what we have done is reduce this to, I will show you this. Rocks, sand, no organic matter, no life in it. It is to bring life back into these lands that we have, we have now moved on to create analog forestry and forest gardens within our tea gardens so that our tea gardens can regain the health, can regain the vitality that once existed in these mountains. We have looked at these chemicals and we find that many of the chemicals that are being used to control the pests are poison, obviously, for the pests, but they are living creatures. There it's poison for us too. They kill the living creature because it's very small, but living creatures that are large like us, when we ingest that poison, it doesn't kill us, but slowly accumulates in our bodies to give us cancers, to give us emphysemas, to give us heart diseases, and all the health problems of modern development and the eating of industrial foods. <laughs>